What's up guys, Everything Blind here, and today we're going to be doing the questions to me video. And I have a pretty good amount of questions here that I've actually collected over the past couple weeks now. And we're going to jump right into them. We have uh, a question from Chris, asks, from Chris. Is it hard being a blind YouTuber? Is it hard being a blind YouTuber? Not really. I mean, there's a lot of things that I have to do differently compared to a sighted uh, YouTuber. I mean, my, my, all my videos have to be more prepped. They have to be more planned, pre-planned than, you know, a sighted person doing a vlog or a product review can just do it the drop of a hat and be able to do it. I have to make sure everything is actually planned correctly in order before I can actually do any type of videos. So, asks, we got one from Ann V. Hello, Ann. How did you learn to use iMovie? I don't know what I am missing. iMovie, for me, is a little difficult because I'm so used to just using the stock camera app on the iPhone to be able to do all my editing and all that. And like with adding music and all that into my video, like background music, I just get it from YouTube. In the, you know themselves um, when you upload from the YouTube app they give you you know all these different type of styles of, of music and I just go from there um, eventually I'm gonna learn how to use iMovie it's just I need to I need to I'm talking with Apple right now because there are some accessibility issues with the app so that's you know that's a work in progress Asks. Willie? Hey, Willie Cody. You follow me on Twitter. I mostly tweet and touch. Did you learn any words for you nuts? Okay, Willie Cody asked. He normally writes in Dutch, so it doesn't drive me nuts. No, it doesn't drive me nuts at all. I mean, I'm I'm more than welcome to learn, more than willing to learn new languages and kind of get familiar with them. So that's not a big deal. So. I uh, kind of enjoy actually seeing him write in Dutch because then if there's, you know, there's always apps out there you can always type in people's statuses or whatever they're saying and you can convert it from French to English or English to French or, you know, whatever like that. So it's really, really cool. Paul asks. Hello, Paul. What is your plans for everything blind? My plans for Everything Blind is to continue doing what I'm doing right now. Having fun making videos, do the best I can, you know, with what I have and just not give it up. That's kind of my, um, that's kind of my motivation. Um, as you guys see in my about, you know, blindness doesn't really hinder me on doing anything. It motivates me to do videos. It doesn't say, oh, well, if you're blind, you know, you can't do this. No, no, I can do whatever I want to do. I'm not determined. <laughs> All right, next question. Crystal asks. Hello, Crystal. Are you working on any new projects for the channel? Yes, I am working on several new products for the channel. Um, one big one is, and this is going to be live right now, and of course I'll let you guys know when this is 100% um, available. I have new, well not even, yeah I guess it would be new to me. Um, I'm going to be releasing Everything Blind Logo t-shirts here in the next week. So that is really exciting for me. Thanks to my wife, she did this for my birthday, so I appreciate her for what she's done for my birthday. I'm really, really excited about these shirts coming in, and yes, there will be an unboxing and revealing of, or unveiling of the uh, Everything Blind logo shirts soon, trust me. And I've got some other ideas, some other plans. Um, other projects that I'm going to be working on, but I can't say right now because I don't want them to be jinxed and not work and get you guys' hopes up and they just don't work. So, 
That's my plan. Kevin asks. Hello, Kevin. Are we going to see more of your wife in any more videos with you? <laughs> um, yes. We're actually going to be doing another Jamaica uh, video here soon. Um, don't know exactly when, but that's going to be very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. And we'll be going back to Jamaica again in October. So there'll be another video going on when we get back or we may do you know may do one while we're down there i haven't really figured out how we're gonna pull that one off yet but great question i'll definitely let my wife know about that one jack asks hello jack has any companies reached out to you to do some reviews on their products yes i've had numerous companies i mean i've had over a handful of companies reach out to me and you know ask me about doing product reviews and stuff like that. I've had Rootcase, shout out to Rootcase, Vistaprint, uh, uh, USA Gear, Nordic Flash, GoPro, and just recently I have another company, it's Olala Electronics. It's an, uh, it's an Apple certified company. They want me to do some reviews on their stuff, so I'm looking really forward to doing some more reviews. I'm actually kind of glad because um, Olala Electronics emailed me, and I almost deleted the email off of uh, you know out of my inbox. And I was like, hold on, this doesn't look this looks different than what my normal um, emails look like. I went in, and boom, they asked me about doing some reviews. So I'm really excited, very blessed, very lucky. You know, ever since I came back from Jamaica in June, it's just like things are just happening for the YouTube channel, myself, and uh, it's just a blessing. And I thank God and I just, I'm just so happy. Sarah asks. Hello, Sarah. Are you making any money? Am I making any money on YouTube? That's kind of a personal question, but I'll answer it anyway. No, I'm not making anything. No money on this channel. Everything that I'm put, basically putting into this channel, like the green screen, the cameras, the lighting, um, me traveling to these different places to be able to do the videos, is coming out of my pocket. I don't have any sponsors. I don't have any of that going on right now. Um, and that's just a choice that I make for my channel is I just don't want to get paid for it. This is something just for an educational entertainment slash lifestyle slash how to, how, you know, whatever you want to call it. People in vlogs or whatever. And, you know, you guys are probably cussing me out right now, chewing me out, saying, oh, well, you should do, you should make money. I want to make money. I really do want to make money, but if that happens in the future, that happens in the future. I'm not really pushing myself to try to make money on YouTube. I'm blessed right now with what's happening, and if that happens, praise God. If it doesn't happen, I'm not worried about it. This is something that I like to do, this is just my hobby. So I like to entertain and have fun. So let's see, next question. Hello, Michael. Have you ever been to Playlist Live or misspelled Vlogger Fair? Yeah, Vlogger never works on with voiceover for some apparent reason. Um, no, I've never been to Playlist Live or Vlogger Fair or VidCon. I've had to write in VidCon there. Um, there's some issues with Playlist Live and Vlogger Fair that I've been trying my hardest to get figured out. The only way that it seemed like it's gonna work for me to actually go to any of these venues is I'm gonna to have to have someone that is sighted help me around. Because I called to the people um, last, no, it was the beginning of the year. When I think Playlist Live was in Orlando, Orlando, Florida. And I talked to them and I asked them like, do you have anybody there that could help me get around the venue? They said no. But there's all these other blind YouTubers that are out there or visually impaired able to do it. And of course they probably have a friend or somebody that they probably did videos with in the past, probably met them there and, and you know, helped them out, which is okay, it's no big deal. My channel is a little hidden from 
the general public, but a lot of companies are seeing it. So it's not that it's not that hidden. But you know, maybe one day I may talk to a friend about going to Playlist Live with me or Blogger Fair. It depends on you know how that works. But good question. I'll I'll keep you updated on that one. Tim asks. Hello, Tim. What kind of bowling balls do you have when you go bowling? <laughs> um, bowling balls. I have four. Well, now three. But I do have four. I have a Columbia 300 yellow dot. I have a Motive Raptor Talon. I have a DV8 Ruckus and a Storm Strikeout. Yeah, see, I have one from not every company, but you know, the ball that I use the most. Well, the two, or all three, I use three of them, is the Motive, DV8, and the Storm Strikeout. I used the Storm Strikeout when I was doing the two-handed bowling video because it just worked so well. So I'll add that into the uh, description down below for you guys. You guys can go definitely check that out. And um, Storm, DV8, you know, Motive are in Columbia is a great company. I mean, I've... Uh, I have no problems with any of their companies with their bowling balls. They all do great and they work for me. So that's the only thing that matters. They work for me, that's good. So, all right, I think that's all the questions. What kind of bowling ball? Yep, that's all the questions. But um, thank you guys for those questions. I really appreciate it. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them back in the comments. Also, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, of course, subscribe, Instagram, and Google Plus to stay up to date with all my videos. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.